And welcome back, everybody. You know, 10 years ago, our first guest was a, a member of the FDNY when our country was uh, forever changed. As a responder to the stress calls uh, that morning, Kevin Shea was the only member of Ladder 35 to survive. Suffering serious injury in the process, Mr. Shea, we want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Uh, you can give out. us a, a, a little, um, you can go back a little bit and, and tell us what I you I was remember. born with a very small silver spoon. <laughs> no. You want to go back on that, that day a little bit? Yeah, I know we're trying to get out of it. You know, this is the day after. But um, yeah, give us uh, a little bit of what you remember. Uh, the good, good point you say that because I have retrograde amnesia for certain parts, so I won't remember everything. Yeah. You know, you can make it up if you'd like yeah. for that. Um, so that, that day, it was mm -hmm. a beautiful day, no, no different than yesterday. It was really nice. Yeah. And I was getting off duty, a uh, guy coming in saying, you're off duty. So great. When the, uh, the first plane hit, and mm -hmm. I asked the officer at duty because this to us was like a, a rescue and a fire of the century. So yeah. I said, I didn't want to be part of this. So yes. officer uh, gave consent for me to jump on uh, one of the rigs. So mm -hmm. when the second plane hit, we all thought it was still the first, but it was the second one. We got called in to respond, yeah. and uh, we went down with the team. But by that time, we were a little bit more solemn because we figured it was not mm -hmm. just an accident. Yes. Yeah. And so after that, you just woke up in a hospital? No, no, no. We were there. I do remember some things, bits and pieces. You know, it's like a flashback coming to you. Well, like being mm -hmm. in the South Tower, um, I do remember that. I remember meeting a whole bunch of guys at the command post, mm -hmm. hugging guys, you know, just glad to see them out of sight. Uh, we didn't really know the, uh, what the outcome was going to be, uh -huh. you know. We were really positive that things would be resolved. And technically, in a way, we were able to rescue about over 20,000 people that could have lost their lives, yeah. you know. With, you know, not just us. It was a contribution from the police department, uh, the people who were there contributing their time sure. to, right? So, um, but uh, I did wake up, and I do only remember a glimpse, uh, glimpse of what occurred when the building came down. Yeah. I was blown about 100 feet away, and uh, they found me in the debris and took me uh, to the hospital. And how has your life been after that? Hmm? I'd say uh, you move forward and it becomes very positive. Yeah. yeah. But does, does it still weigh on your mind? Um, no. No, I have to hmm. say that we, you know, I just don't like watching the news program, seeing something that happens. Exactly, yes. I like to move forward and say, okay, it uh, changes you. And you like to say that it changes you in a positive way. There's a lot of confirmation bias and trying to convince yourself. But uh, sooner or later you make decisions uh, in the future that says, well, I'm going to try to avoid situations like that. Mm -hmm. the, this is one of those things you just can't say, um, I'm going to avoid it because it just happens to be a surprise. But you like to say that you're making the right decisions yeah. each time. And, and upon you started a foundation? Yeah, Fallen Brothers a, Foundation. Yeah. That was just strictly to uh, help out the widows and surviving families mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of that incident. And we kept it going for a while until another incident happened, the tsunami and the major floods in New Orleans. So, yeah. uh, but we were happy to be able to participate in that, that mm -hmm. cause. But the, uh, with this foundation, you started helping out with other tragic uh, events? Mm. Tragic events, uh, well, we did. But it was for, again, focusing on surviving families. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, we uh, kept it going down until uh, the uh, funds d dwindled. Because let's yeah. face it, there are other things that occur after that. You of know what I mean? Course, things yeah. move on and other incidents, that, like the incident in Japan. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Are we safe here in the city or should we still be worrying about another event Don't worry. like that? It's, it will occur. Not. It there's will occur. Be, there's always going to be a black swan. You know, no one thought the housing market was going to go down, did they? No. Right, but it did. So there will be a black swan from here and there. So I would say just move on with your life, live it positively. There's a lot of other countries that have had incidents, um, many, many yeah. occurrences. Uh, England, where a lot of the, uh, uh, the bombers, they, they started to become more familiar with it. And they, uh, what do you call it, accommodated. Come, they didn't bring it in and yeah. embrace it, but they certainly accommodated to that type of scenario. Mm. Israel's another one. So we would just need to do the same thing. Yeah. You know, what should people do? I mean, you know, ordinary people. I mean, we go to work every day, but uh, when something like this happens, we're like, oh, wow, it, mm. it freaked out a whole lot of people. And I mm -hmm. think people are still going through it. People are not really settled yet. Mm -hmm. But what should people do? I say a good foundation is getting some good critical thinking skills of any scenario. Right. Mm -hmm. And you want to do a site assessment of your own. You know, um, first of all, obviously, is self-preservation. 
mm -hmm. right? If you really feel that that hazard is really close to you, you have to find some means uh, for you to protect yourself and your family and the one mm -hmm. that you care about. And to do that, you probably want to get the professional to do that. American Red Cross provides training for that, right? They, try for, uh, they prepare you for almost any disaster, man-made or natural. So you would try to get yeah. a base. From that, you would try to customize it for your basic needs, right? We do that every day. You see yeah. that in the news. If you dial 311 in New York City, yeah. you will get that type of help. But if you want to, take it a family, make it a family event or even make it a game of uh, trying to learn what you can do in case something like that happens. Yeah. Uh, so you... you Advise everybody to take like a class with the. Take a class would be good. Yeah. Learn about it. I, the, I'd say the internet is a great resource. If you just Google in something, right, you'll yeah. get something out. And I have to say that whatever question you have, I'm sure you'll be able to get a good answer. Yeah. And how about a go bag? Ooh, yeah. The go bag sounds awesome. I would say there are many resources where you could try to find out what materials you're going to need. Mm -hmm. You know. So, uh, I mean, I have myself a go bag, but mine is for uh, when we do have a disaster. I work for a team, the Fire Department Disaster Assistance yeah. Relief Team. We use our go bag to go to to help the people. Like, we just had that incident, uh, the floods up in uh, New York. Yeah. A couple of the guys over here uh, uh, live up there, and uh, they basically had to deal with the floods. Um, and we're there, you know, and the go yeah. bag really does help out. Just the small basic things, yeah. making sure you can purify that water or shave so you don't look like a bum. No, I'm just but Kevin, your go bag is going to be quite different from the, the regular civilian go bag. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got it your clothes in the dark. Gear. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but I mean, you should have the essentials. You have, your flashlight, of course, your toothbrush. I mean, You're going food. good. You're going good. <laughs> no, I would definitely say certain uh, basic things was, uh, I, I would say a jacket so people can see at night because there's going to be times for me in my particular go bag. Yeah. Uh, flashlights, LEDs, you last, you last a long time. I would hate to be that flat, that cheap flashlight we keep on banging it to get to work. <laughs> hate those. Right. Um, and I would have to say some cutting object, even a survivor would say uh -huh. some sort of knife or something like that because you never know when you need it. I don't mean for crim criminals. I mean for protecting yourself or cutting ropes and stuff like that. Like that. Hey, I hope it doesn't come to that where you, <laughs> you need to protect your house and your family and everything right. with weapons. Well, Never know. Black swans happen all the time. <laughs> but I'm sure we can <laughs> handle it. That. Yeah. Yes. All right. So you've been doing this for a while. You're still. You're back at work. Yeah. And you're on light duty right now. Uh, no, I'm retired from the fire department. You retired. Since, since, yeah. Yeah. No big surprise. No. Okay. 2004. The numbers were right. They said, please go. So I said, oh, okay. So I worked on some other projects, and right now I'm working on uh, helping people in uh, Nicaragua. Yeah. So, you know, disaster relief is there as well. That's so. right. So you're more into volunte volunteerism. Yep, volunteer. I volunteer during, uh, during the hurricane season. I'm available mm -hmm. from, not that anyone can call me. Uh, I, I have to be called by my agency. <laughs> All right, but I'm available from, uh, uh, I guess it is uh, August until uh, November, yeah. when everything seems to get a little bit uh, calmer. Uh, we're going to call you, hey, Kevin, we need your help. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> yeah, call, call my uh, authority first. Would you want to say anything to your fallen brothers? Uh, well, since they're not around, but if they were around, I say hi. How you doing? Oh, they can hear you. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, say so. Yeah, they go so. through the lights, the electronics, so. and everything. They were really great people, yeah. you know. And, you know, uh, I was young on the job, and uh, they had years and years on the job. So, except for one guy, uh, um, Diaria. But uh, I would uh, basically say, you know, I'll be there soon enough, you yeah. know. And uh, I just keep a nice, warm seat for me. Yeah. Now, but you you were hurt pretty bad. You yeah. severed your thumb. Uh, severed and thumb, broken uh, neck, broken neck uh, subdermal hematoma, uh, major contusions, lost 90% of one testicle, 10% of the other. So I got one real testicle. No, no. And, Just a um, testament. What's that? <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I got major, but it, and it was a quick recovery. Uh, that mm -hmm. was good. And all the doctors were saying, you know, restricted movement. Uh, but uh, now I'm able to jump on a rope and uh, climb up the top of my roof of my home. And yeah. I don't feel that bad about it. If you want, we can go parachuting soon. Yeah, but no. don't try this at home, fellas. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't try, try climbing roof right. unless you have the proper training. <laughs> yeah, so how can people help out with the foundation? I know oh, well, my foundation's uh, d uh, defunct for one reason. Money wouldn't be going in for it because those families are, I, I guess they wouldn't be taken They're care okay of by, now. oh, yeah, yeah, the brothers okay. are also taken care of. We were there in 9-11 yesterday, and the families are showing their appreciation for all the care and loving yeah. they've received from the brothers for, for quite some time. It's 10 years now, yes. you know what I mean? Um, but um, I, I'd have to say, if you're going to give to something, give to something that's going on now. Um, you know, American Red Cross sounds like a good idea, yeah. right? They're one of the beams. Also, I would say, if you really want to give wise, go to an organization. They don't, I don't represent them. 
but it's called uh, Give Well. Give, Give well. well. What they normally do is they evaluate uh, non uh, nonprofit organizations, not only based on the fact that they administer well and their funds go more towards the cause, but they actually evaluate their cause and make sure that the cause is right. Because you wait to see a lot of waste in, yeah, in the things yeah. that you do. So Give Well would be that. That's free advertising for Give Well. They don't even yeah. know that I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Were you there at 9/11 yesterday? Uh, I, wasn't at the, I wasn't at that site because I just, just felt that it would be a nice private moment and I like to make it special. Yeah. So I, I like to bond with some people. After 9-11, I found myself bonding with, uh, um, finding bonding with people was a much more pleasant experience than just yeah. taking care of tasks. Sure. So if I was to go down there, I'd like to go to someone who experienced it and loves to give the tour. Like there's a guy named Lynch uh, whose son died and what a wonderful guy he is. And if he was to hold a tour, I'll go with him yeah because he felt feels it I feels the same feelings I feel and I'd go and I just met Dioria's uh, Dioria's mom and uh, she runs a, uh, a tour to, uh, I think twice a month and I told I took her a card and I said I'm gonna call you when I want to go because if I, everyone's gonna anyone's gonna do it's gonna be a friend that gives me the tour of that yeah. new place that they have set up but I heard it's amazing so I'd recommend anyone who's doing tourism go check it out yeah and it opens today doesn't it yeah for the public yeah. yesterday was for the families right you know? right yeah. So you still keep in touch with all the families? Do you have? Gatherings? I would say I do not, but I would say that I would be very willing to. And we do the fundraisers still, even after ten years. You do fundraisers, yeah. golf courses. You know, you go and play some golf, pay some money, and you get to meet some of the uh, family members. Oh, you know, good, good. I haven't been as active as I would like, but I have so many other projects to help people out. So, but I'll be doing it this year. I have yeah. uh, two, two this September. To you do. play? Got a swing? No, I don't. You but, drive around in a golf cart. But I like cart, to make though. lots of jokes. <laughs> You're like me, drive around in a golf cart. I, I could possibly do yeah. that. I could do that. I'm waiting Great. for the Google go kart so they can actually drive for me, so I yeah. don't have to have any accidents. So, what, Kevin? What's your next project? What are you working on? Uh, I'm working on a project in Nicaragua where I'm making one of the world's first smart reserves. Um, it's meant to automatically <laughs> take care of your membership and all your needs at that place, and you can have a great time. If you've heard of geocaching, wait, wait, yeah. world's first, first smart, smart reserve, a wildlife reserve that's really smart. It's oh. going to be Wi-Fi enabled the entire place. Great. So just to picture yourself going there, and you see an animal, you take a picture. It automatically gets Wi-Fi enabled to the network. Okay, so yeah. therefore people can uh, identify it. Tell it where it is, right? Wow, okay. And you can play games. Uh, my favorite show was Lost. Uh -huh. So when I went to Nicaragua, I figured I would make a game where. Did you ever watch Lost, by the way? Uh, I watched it a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. Well, in and out. I guess you didn't uh, like it too much. Uh, well, I'm not a regular watcher because of my schedule. No judgment. No judgment today. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I wanted to take that there because it's uh, a dry tropical forest. Now the main goal uh -huh. for that is is three. One, I have agroforest, agroforestry. Mm -hmm. I have uh, ecotourism, and I have a disaster relief unit that's being set up over there, just in case the tsunami hits the town again. Because mm -hmm. the town was hit in 1992 with a tsunami. So if it hits again, I want to make sure they're all prepared. But the agroforestry is there to, to raise some money for the community as well as empower them to do it on their own. And uh, the ecotourism is to bring you, people like you come in, you mm -hmm. know, tourism uh, come in, bring the money in so we can help establish an infrastructure for these people. Because I'm in a, based at, uh, in a town where there's only 125 homes, 970 yeah. people, and I'm sure they'd like to have a job just as much as us yeah. Americans would. You know, and that's one of the things that 9-11 did to a lot. I mean, I covered a lot of that stuff down there. And volunteerism, people were the stores were open and they were just handing you stuff, you know, because yep. you were helping out that down day. there. They were giving you blankets, they were giving you uh, dry clothing, and gloves. Yeah. People were just handing you stuff and, and the camaraderie and the togetherness and the, and the love that was displayed down there is unforgettable. Yeah. And I think <laughs> if we learn how to keep that and extend that far beyond 9-11, I think uh, Ooh, this world will be a I'll give you place. some advice then on yeah. that one. Try to drop all isms and you'll be all set. Even, all isms. Yep. It could be religion or secular. If you drop down Americanism or some sort of religious beliefs, right, and go down the idea that you're human and I'm human, it starts mm. to work a little bit closer to, to what you want. I understand you. Okay. You understand me. We both have crap and both have good stuff We have about cultures it. as well <laughs> and we have to respect it. Exactly. And if you bring empathy as your major virtue, then you might be set. There you go. Kevin, Kevin Shea, FDNY, firefighter, and uh, that's ladder 35? It was ladder 35, that's correct, and it has been operations. Right. Represent, so yeah. All right, thank yeah. you so much. My Thanks pleasure, sir. Okay. You have a wonderful and safe day. You too. Stick around for a little while. Oh, okay. And thank you so much uh, for your service. More information on how you can uh, do your part, please visit www.fallenbrothers.com. Uh, I think it's defunct right now, but you it's can defunct, still. It's defunct, but you can just say yeah. that you went there. And yeah, we'll go there. Okay.
and, yeah. and it, you know, you can go in and just check it out anyway.